Skywalker back to Anime Den TV. We're making another bad video review. Why? Because that's what I do. So we've got another Griffin Enterprise Shining Wind Figutu figure. And this one is, of course, Kureha. Um, again, I've never seen or played this, so I'm not familiar with the figures. Unlike the last one, which was number 10, because again, these are obviously numerically in production value, you know, production, so this is obviously... It's got a smaller window box, so you don't get to see as much in the way of accessories. Now, these are, are pretty much the same as um, Good Smile Company's uh, Figma figures. So they're a ball jointed PVC figure. We'll see more of that when we get out of the box. Because on the side of the box, you have, of course, some graphics from, you know, so just some artwork graphics. On the back, again, very true. This is almost a, a, a direct rip of what Figma does on this. You know, you get a couple of poses, you get obviously an idea of what's in there, you get an idea of, you know, different fringes. So you get a bit of a, a, a shop on, if you want, of what to expect when you get inside it. And of course, again, there's just some information on the side. It gives you a website to travel to. Obviously, it has all the, you know, all the information. It's a Griffin Enterprise. You know, aid requirements, blah, blah, blah. You know, I could keep talking forever on that one. But of course, let's get them out of the box and see what they look like inside. Have it out of the box. As you can see, the light in here is not the best, but you can sort of get an idea for it all. It's very much like the Figma figures. So you've got that. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you've got the hands in there, and the base is there, and obviously your, your sprues for holding her in. There's the actual figure. It comes obviously covered in plastic. There's, of course, a whip. Oh, no, there's a bow. And a couple of other weapons are there. There's an arrow and a sword, a couple of extra faces. Probably the disappointing thing here is that in the Death Note release, I actually did do a storage box, which you can't see in this one, so it's a bit of a disappointment. But yeah, very much like the Figma figures, so we'll get her put together and we'll show you what she looks like. So here's Kuruha, yeah, yeah, Kuruha. Now out of the box on a display pad. So you got this sort of very rectangular shape display. It has got Fugutu imprinted on it. Yeah, as I said before, these are very much like the Figma figures, so they are all very jointed, you know, you can sort of move everything. They've got that very traditional scissor back stand, you know, there's full rotation in the head. She does have a removable fringe piece for optional eyes and that. And you obviously get full movement on the arms, has a nice elbow joint on it. Yeah, these little bits here aren't removable. I'm trying to get back into camera view. This obviously is not removable, it's just part of. Um, you know, it's that sort of very soft plastic. It's not a very hard plastic. And then, of course, you've got this nice little bow happening here. Um, does not swivel in the waist, so that's a bit of a disappointment. You know, knees are very mobile. You can do a lot with them. You know, they've got a nice sort of joint on them. Get that nice sort of... You know, they've got that double slip joint which allows you to get that little bit of extra movement going on. You know, feet are very mobile, can do a, you know, a lot of different posing with that. So to that extent, it's actually you know, very much like the Figma figures. You know, and it's got a lot of separation points for different things. You know, obviously the hands are removable, the fringe is removable. So you know, if you want to obviously replace the face, you just literally take it off. You see, one thing they've done, which I have not seen in the Figma figures, is there is actually a magnetic retainer. Often Figma do just a clip retainer. This has actually got a magnet retainer. So that's a, a fairly cool feature. And of course, there's our, our sword. Get it back together. It's sort of a bit weird looking at a faceless person. You can hear our other operators talking there, getting one of our guys to go get some bits to put things in. That's why I said it's a bit disappointing. In the, yeah. the Death Note range actually did come with a plastic storage disk that doesn't. So, you know, we, we tend to store a lot of our figure bits in marked bags and put them in a little set of drawers. And there's, of course, the bow. And, of course, the arrow. We might see if we can do a bit of posing and come back. And that's, of course... The character set up with a bow and arrow. And that's of course Kuraha from Shining Winds. It doesn't come up too bad. It, really, the problem I just had then—that's why I didn't tape it because it would have been a half hour long, half hour long video. 
was that the head doesn't like to turn to face that way too much. The fringe and the hair gets in the way a bit. So it probably could have had a softer hair, you know, that's very sort of rigid plastic. It doesn't have a lot of mobility about it and the fringe was very problematic trying to get it positioned right. But all in all, it's come up quite nice and you know, obviously you can set her up with the sword and everything else. The other thing too is it doesn't actually, she doesn't actually hold a, an arrow that well. I went through a couple of the different hands and there's no real nice hand for holding it in a way that you'd expect an arrow and bow to sort of go. So that is of course the Shining Winds Fugutu Griffin Enterprise Kuraha um, figure. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.